No topic has been off limits so far here at the UCP convention in Red Deer as Alberta's opposition party gathers at this hotel for its founding AGM. And to no one's surprise, pipelines, a big subject. Conservatives from across Alberta have gathered at this hotel, the goal to define themselves as a party ahead of next spring's election. Former Cabinet Minister Rana Ambrose spoke about women in politics and what can be done to attract more female candidates. One of the big challenges, she says, is attracting those high-quality candidates who have to deal with the trolling on social media. You know, I have said um, to the president of Twitter Canada's face that I think Twitter is a sewer for women. And I said that they need to make a lot of changes before it is a safe place for women. Outside the hall, conservatives and passionate energy sector advocates rally for the energy sector and the Trans Mountain Pipeline. It's about time that, that the, the vocal minority got out and, and said something because all you see in the media is all the opposition to, to uh, pipeline, which isn't fair, is it? Uh, we're up here for the AGM, but um, I, I have one of their... Um, posters in my yard and I support what they're doing. It's important. Their rally attracts the attention of Conservative leader Andrew Scheer. Scheer, a Saskatchewan Member of Parliament himself, says Albertan should be worried about Trans Mountain. Kinder Morgan's deadline is looming. And it's not just about that May 31st deadline, it's about everything else that's happened. Uh, Justin Trudeau killed the Northern Gateway project. He killed Energy East. He's imposing a carbon tax. Uh, carbon tax. So there's so uh, many things going on at both the provincial level and federal level that are si sending negative signals to the industry. That's why the investment's leaving Canada and the job's going with it. We're only, I think, about 26, 27 days away from, the, from that deadline right now. Uh, if we can't get our products to Tidewater, it's going to continue to hurt our economy. This is the number one issue facing our province right now. Today, they'll be focusing mainly on the nitty-gritty and financials of the party. On Sunday, they'll be discussing policy. Among some of the more heated topics up for debate, they'll be talking about reinstituting a 10% flat tax and providing parents with more choice in their child's education. Kenny himself has come under fire from the LGBTQ community over his support of a teacher telling a parent that their child joined a gay straight alliance for fear teachers would be outing students. UCP leader Jason Kenney expected to be the keynote speaker tonight. He will be introduced by former Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall. Kenny, of course, praised Wall for his efforts against the carbon tax while he was running to become a UCP leader and running for a seat in the Alberta legislature. In Red Deer, Alberta, Ian Campbell, City News.